Hello everyone and welcome back to Wow Body Now. We are gonna do a booty building workout just with dumbbells. Let's get warmed up. Cheers everyone, let's sit and get going with our warm up. Maddie has decided to join us today, we're so lucky. We're gonna start with hamstring curls. So if you have a fitness tracker, make sure you turn it on and just kick your heels back just like that. Go ahead and I want you, you don't have to be confused, just do what mommy's doing. I want you to go ahead and stand up tall, pull your abs in, shoulders are back and relaxed. There you go. My legs are already tired. They're already tired? Then you need to work out more and strengthen those legs, girl. We have 10 more seconds and then we're gonna do giant hip circles. Okay, so I want you to stand with your feet hip width apart, maybe a little bit more. Put your hands on your hips. Draw big circles with your hips. Make them as big as you can. We'll do 30 seconds one direction and then we'll switch directions. Do you want to hold hands as we do it? Yeah, I want to hold Okay, so I want you to feel a nice stretch through your hamstrings as you hinge forward here. That feels good. Oh, I see you. <laughs> we have about five more seconds, then we're gonna switch directions of our hip circles. Ready? Other way. Hey everyone, keep warming up, but I just wanted to pop in here to say hello to any new fit friends here. I'm so glad you're here with me. Hang in there, just keep coming back. Consistency is key. And if you like the workout, if you enjoy the Well Body Now community, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a, leave a comment below and introduce yourself. And we are gonna get into the best shape of our lives together. All right, have a good workout. And just alternate swinging your arms and lunging side to side. I'll try not to hit you when I swing my arms this way. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and reach to the floor? Then I'm not worried about hitting you. So this side lunge, when you sit deep, it automatically forces you into a hinged position, right? I want you to keep your back long. I want you to pull that belly button in the whole time. We're prepping for Kozak squats. Kozak squats are a deeper side lunge. Ow. They're not for everybody. If Kozak squats are too much for you, I want you to sit into a lunge, hold for three counts, sit into a lunge as deep as you can and hold for three counts. If you can do the Kozak squat, go ahead and sit deeper, hang out there for a few counts, and then switch to the other side. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Just alternating sides, spending time at the bottom of each one. Just do the best you can. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get into a down dog position. So, Maddie, get into a down dog position. Hand on the floor, hips up, and just pedal your feet. Warming up the ankle joint. Getting a nice dynamic stretch for our calves. So today we're gonna be building the booty. It's all about the lower body, especially the glutes. And we're gonna do three minute AMRAPs. So we're gonna have a superset. We're gonna have two exercises paired together that we're doing, and we're doing it for time. We're going to see how many times we can get through the superset in three minutes. So we're working muscular endurance a lot. Okay, keep your hands on the floor. I'm gonna have my hands on my mat and alternating low lunge with a twist. You know I love to do this during the warm up. It always feels so good. Switch sides. Press your hips down, reach and extend. We lost Maddie already. Switch sides, take your time. You don't have to rush through this. Oh, nice. Oh, that feels good. Oh. One more on the other side. And go ahead and give me some air squats to finish off our warm up. Nice. So, you just find a comfortable squatting stance for you. Keep your chest open, sit into it. Okay, we have 30 seconds to kind of catch your breath and to grab your dumbbells. So, the first two exercises we're gonna do you're gonna grab your, your dumbbells, you're gonna do an RDL. 
each exercise you're doing eight times. And then you're gonna do eight, and then you're gonna do hang cleans into a squat. Hang, clean them up to a front racked position. So your palms are facing you, you're holding them in here into a squat. Okay, grab your weights. You can go heavy because this is all about the glutes and the legs. So hinge and stand for eight, seven, six. Feel a really good stretch as you go down and then squeeze your hamstring and glutes on the way up. Five, four, and we're going for three minutes straight with these two exercises. I think this, one more here. I lost track already. I think this is number eight. And then a hang clean. So hang, clean, rack them in the front there, squat. There's one. Hang, clean, squat. Two, bring it down. Hang, clean, squat. Three, nice. Hang, clean, squat. Four, you got it. Five, come on. Six, seven, clean, squat, eight. Right back into those RDLs. Shoulders back, chest up, abs in. Hinge and then stand, one. Woo, my heart rate's up. Two, three, four. If you need a slight bend in your knees as you go down, a little bit more than mine, that's okay. Five, six, Seven, eight, hang clean and squat. Rack it like a front squat. One, two, three, four. Come on, guys. Hi, Maddie. Five. Whew. Six. Seven. Eight. Just about 30 seconds left. Go right into those RDLs. For one. Two. Three. Four, oh my goodness, five, six, you can do it, seven, eight, put them down. We have a minute to rest and we're gonna go on to two new exercises for another three minutes. I'm gonna put that there so my ball doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes it wants to move around on me. Okay, so the next two exercises, double pulse curtsy, okay, and a sumo squat. So we're gonna double pulse curtsy on one side and then the other side. Okay, and then we're gonna do a sumo squat, eight and eight. <sighs> Forearm strength and grip strength is working to hold on to these weights for a whole three minutes. That might be the limiting factor for you. If you need to put the weights down, just keep going with just your body weight. Got it? All right, let's go ahead. So, one, two, three, four, five, Double pulse there. Six, seven, eight. Okay, stand wide, toes turn out, arms are just hanging there. Sumo squats for eight, seven, six, five, 
four, keep that chest up, abs in. Three, imagine yourself spreading the floor apart as you stand. Two, one, double pulse curtsy, balance. Pulse, pulse. Two, whew. three, four, five, come on, six, seven, eight, whew. sumos, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just need to shake it out. Woo. Okay, make sure you're not strangling the weights. Kind of make your hands like hooks, right? But you don't have to strangle the weights. Your fingers create kind of a hook and the weights are resting in there. Four, five, six, oh, seven, oh, eight. Here we go. Sumos for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right into curtsies. Double pulse. One, two. Three minutes straight gets that heart rate up and we're working that muscular endurance. <sighs> nice! Here's our minute to rest. Oh, sip your water, move around, shake it out. We're on to our minute of rest and two more exercises for our three minute AMRAP. We're gonna do pendulum lunges and side step squats. My pendulum lunges, I'm gonna do just body weight. And then I'm gonna pick up the weight for the sidestep squats. Pendulum lunges look like this. Forward, back. That's one rep. And we're gonna do a total of eight. Ooh. Okay, get ready. Five, four, three, two, one, stand up tall. So here's one, two, stay low, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, let's go. Forward and back, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Side step squats, I'm gonna rack them up on my shoulders. Start with your feet together, step out to the side for eight. Seven, six, five, four, sit low, but keep your chest high. Three, you got it. Come on, two, one. Put those weights down. Pendulum lunges. I'm gonna start with the back leg first this time. One, two, Three, four, five. Now you know why I said just do body weight. It burns, right? <laughs> Six, 
seven, oh, eight, other leg, let's go. One, two, three, Whew. wait a second, Whew. balance, four, and you are going at your own pace, right? Six, seven, eight, and eight. Rack those weights. Hey, side step squats. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh my goodness. Four, three, two. We only have eight seconds, so let's just keep it here for the whole rest of the time. Just keep going. One more. Oh, okay. Oh. So, we, my fifth friends, have a minute to rest. Okay, we're gonna do skater squats. I'm gonna use this as my target. So with skater squats, you're gonna sit back, try to tap your knee and come up. If that's too much for you, you're just gonna do split squats, okay? Eight per side, and then eight per side, double hip abductions. Up, up, not all the way down. Keep it out away from the floor the whole time. Okay, you ready? So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, whew, six, Balance, seven, eight, same thing. Other side, let's go. Eight, you got it. Seven, hang in there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna pick up one weight and hold it against my leg for added resistance. Go to the wall for balance if you need to. Up, up, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, come on, seven, you got it, eight. Same thing, other side, right into it, stand up tall, abs in, standing leg is soft, that means the knee is slightly bent. Two, three, four, five, six. You got it. Standing leg feels it, right? Seven, eight. Right into the skater squats, y'all. Okay. So, barely tapping the shin or the knee down there, right? It, all of the work's done in that front leg. One, two, I'm concentrating on my balance. Three, four, I'm trying to maintain all my weight on this front leg. Five, I'm not trying to rest at the bottom at all. Six, I'm trying not to push off the bottom at all. Seven, it makes a difference, right? Eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, arms go out to counterbalance, right? Eight, grab that weight, double hip abductions, working the glutes and the hips, 
One, two, you got it. Three, we only have 10 seconds. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> Let's make it even. Three, two, one. Oh, we made it through that one. Okay, so we are gonna grab a step. You're gonna use your coffee table or your couch. We're gonna do Bulgarian split squats and they're going to be glute focused, which means we're gonna hinge forward some, okay? So traditional Bulgarian split squats are more quad dominant and they look like this, right? For this one, I want your foot out further. You're gonna stay hinged forward the whole time and you're gonna concentrate pushing strong through that front heel, okay? Eight per side. And then we're gonna do step ups. A total of 16 or eight per side. I'm gonna add my weights to make it more challenging. Not everybody's gonna be ready for weights. You can do it just with body weight if that's better for you, okay? Get ready, set, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Same thing, other side. Make sure you're balanced. Eight, seven, six, five, four, I feel it. Three, I sure do. Two, one. Step ups, eight per leg. One, two, Get your entire foot up there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're just gonna do a total of eight in the entrance of time. I need to shake it out. Okay, my goodness. Oh. Right into it. Eight Bulgarian split squats. Glute focus, hinge forward. The back leg is a little bit straighter. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's a challenge. Oh my goodness. Eight, seven, six, five, four, <sighs> oh, eight step ups. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh my goodness, putting that work in, guys. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna put one weight down. I'm just gonna go to one weight this time. Okay, we only have about 20 seconds left. Come on, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, to the other side. Less than 10 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay. So we get a minute to rest. I am breathing so hard. We, my fit friends, are gonna do B stance hip thrust, and then hip thrust with double abduction. So, if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging and you have a booty band, grab your booty band. If you don't have a booty band yet, they are super affordable. There are many different options on Amazon. 
I've tried several different options from Amazon. They've all been great. If you read the reviews and you choose a brand with pretty good reviews, you can be pretty sure that they're probably gonna be pretty good from my experience. So I'm gonna put this on B stance. One leg is your kickstand. So I have one leg out. I'm just using it for balance. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switching legs, pressing against that band the whole time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna grab the other one. <sighs> Hip thrust with a double abduction at the top. So one, open, open. Two, don't tease her. Thank you. Don't pretend like you're gonna give her food and then don't. Okay, thank you. Four, five, six, Oh my goodness, seven. Oh my goodness, eight. Put it down. All right. I don't know about you, but my booty was burning. Give me that kickstand for eight, seven. Keep your chin tucked, look forward. Six, tuck your tailbone under at the top. Five, four, three, two, and one. Same thing. Other side, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness gracious, it burns. Eight, open, open. Seven, open, open. Six, open, open. Five, open, open. Four, open, open. Three, open, open. Oh my goodness. Two, open, open. One, open, open. Okay, I just need a couple deep breaths. Okay, let's finish strong. Here we go. B stance hip thrusts. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Down, up. Oh, my goodness. Okay guys, so go ahead, put your mat away. Not your mat, put your step away. Put your dumbbells away. I'm gonna keep my booty band on, but you don't have to, okay? The next two exercises we're gonna be doing are quadruped, donkey, or hydrants, fire hydrants, and then donkey kicks. We'll do Eight each exercise on one side and then the other and go back and forth. Sound good? So, get down on your mat. I'm gonna keep it doubled up for extra cushion. Pull that belly button in, tailbone slightly tucked under. I'm gonna be starting with this front leg. So I'm gonna go down to my forearm of the back arm. So eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now donkey kicks. Eight, I'm gonna pause at the top. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, other side. Hydrants, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, donkey kicks. Flex your foot, act like you're putting your footprint on the ceiling. 
pause at the top for a split second. Four, five, six, seven, work that booty. Eight, whoo, we're gonna do it all over again. Whoo, okay, just need a little bit of a rest. That's enough, let's get back into it. Hydrants and donkey kicks, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's go to the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, donkey kicks, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, just under a minute to go. Guys, it burns. Okay, let's get back to it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Let's go. High jumps. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Donkey kicks. Let's go. Eight, little pause. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Eight on the other side, less than 10 seconds. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, okay, okay, we have a minute to rest. Y'all, this is no joke. I told you this was booty building and the tail end of this workout, I mean, it's 100% booty on fire. We are gonna do glute bridges and then calf raises while holding a glute bridge. We, my fit friends, are almost there. We're almost done. Lay down on your back. So eight glute bridges on the eighth one, hold it up and then give me eight calf raises to where you come up on your toes. So you're still working the glutes to hold the glute bridge, but getting a little calf work so that we look really good and have our calves popping when we wear some high heels, right? So eight, seven, Six, tuck your tailbone under. Five, four, three, two, hold it up there, calf raises. Eight, seven, six, five. Press against the band the whole time. Four, three, two, and one. Glute bridges. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, hold it up there, calf raises for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, glute bridges go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Calf raises go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I just need a little reprieve. Oh my gosh. Hug it, hug it, hug it. Why does it burn so good, y'all? Okay, ready? Mind over matter, strong positive thoughts. Let's go. Eight glue bridges, eight. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Calf raises, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Glute bridges, go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Calf raises, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hug it in, hug it in. We still have 35 seconds, okay? One more nice deep breath. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Calf raises. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Glute bridges all the way to the end. Come on, just five more seconds. Come on, come on, hold it up there. <laughs> oh, guys, we're done, we're cooling down. Come on, get this off. I want you to kind of walk around some. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious. I didn't, ooh, I got a little dizzy. Stood up too quick, there we go, that's better. I didn't realize it was gonna be like that. <laughs> Madison, bring me my foam roller. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna do some foam rolling in myofascial release. If you don't have any myofascial release or anything to do myofascial release, I just want you to follow the stretching routine up here in the corner, okay? Whew. So, I'm gonna start just with this glute right here. I'm just gonna go back and forth. And I'm leaning more to this front side here. I'm gonna do four passes. If I find a knot or anything, I'm gonna go ahead or trigger point and roll over it a little bit more. And I find an extra tender spot kind of like right there. So I'm gonna like really kind of do little like rocks on it. And then I'm gonna kind of go back and forth, forward, back. I'm gonna pull the knee in and extend in, extend. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. Nice full passes on this glute. Oh, oh my goodness. This feels good. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna kind of spend a little extra time right there. It feels a little bit tighter right there in that spot for me. So I'm gonna kind of rock into it, press into it. Oh, and I'm gonna hug it in for one, release, two. All right, I wanna do my hips some more. So I'm gonna go to the side here. I'm gonna go from just above my hip all the way down that side of my leg there. Mmm, that feels good. Oh yeah, taking time here. And it was a little bit tender right about there. So I'm gonna kind of breathe into it, try to relax into it as I put more of my weight in that spot. And as I feel like I can handle it, I'm gonna go ahead and bend, oh my goodness, and extend. That kind of concentrates all the weight a little bit more in there. So this is trigger point therapy here. I found a knot, I found a really hard, tense point part in the muscle there, and I'm concentrating pressure down into it to try to massage it out to help it release. Whoo, that's enough. I'm gonna go to the other side. <laughs> it's supposed to be uncomfortable while you're doing it, and then you get this awesome sense of release and relief after. So, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the other side, same thing. Whew. Again, if you don't have a foam roller at home, 
get one. Again, they're very affordable and it's so, it's such a good tool to help you with recovery and to work, keep your mobility and flexibility and to help you avoid, you know, tightening up over time and getting flexibility, mobility and muscular imbalances that can lead to injury and pain and inefficient movement. We don't want that. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm going to roll my calves some. Okay. I'm just going to do them at the same time. <laughs> my calves can be tight sometimes. I'm going to kind of angle my toes towards the back there and keep rolling. Angle my toes towards the front and keep rolling. <laughs> nice. So, if you didn't have a foam roller and you've just been doing the stretches with me, you're done. Thank you for joining me. If you've been foam rolling with me, I want you to go ahead and do some stretches with me now. So the foam rolling is awesome because it really primes you to get a little bit more range of motion in your stretches so that you can improve your flexibility. So let's start feet wide, toes facing forward, hinge forward, keep your spine neutral. I'm keeping my spine long. I'm not rounding through the shoulders. I'm keeping my shoulder blades pinched back. Nice long spine. <sighs> Legs are long. Stretching through the hamstrings, feeling it in the glutes and the lower back. So good. Go ahead, take this hand from the back, reach towards that ankle, and then rest the other hand on your hip and twist and look over. This feels so good. We're continuing to get the hamstrings and glutes, but now we're getting a little bit more of the lats on the other side there. And the, sh and the back. Same thing, other side. Oh, balance, breathe. So return to the middle. See if you can't straighten your legs more or take your hands to the back more. See if you can't increase that stretch. Reach further back. Ooh, feels so good. Breathe into it, relax into it. Bend your knees, round and roll up nice and easy. Oh, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Now we're gonna do a pigeon. So take one foot in front. I want the back shoelaces, top of your shin, knee, and the thigh towards the floor. Take the front leg, bend it. And go ahead, try to square up your hips, square up your shoulders. Now lean forward over if you can. If your hips aren't on the floor because they're really tight, I want you to get a yoga block or a pillow and put it underneath your hips to help support them. Oh, hinge forward again. We're breathing into it, trying to relax into it. Can you go further? Can you lean more forward over it? Again, that's how you improve your flexibility over time. You relax into it and try to go a little bit further. So you have to take time in your stretches. Don't rush your stretches. Walk it back. Ooh, 
Ooh, roll on out of that. Same thing, other side. This tends to be my tighter side, so I'm gonna really ease into it. Again, square up your hips, square up your shoulders. As you get more flexible over time, you'll be able to get this heel further away from your groin. Sit up nice and straight for a bit and then try to make your way over the top of that leg, if you can. Maddie says this is taking too long. I think it's taking just the right amount of time. <laughs> yes, you may, just a handful. Don't eat out of the box. Take a handful and put it in a bowl. So we're breathing into it trying to relax into it. As you feel your hips release, try to go a little bit further in the stretch and hold. Make your way out of that. Oh my goodness, go ahead and lay down on your back. I want you to hug your knees in, round your back. Oh, that feels so good. Hug the knees in. If you have knee issues, it might be more comfortable to hook your knees, hook your arms under your knees rather than applying pressure on the top of your shins there. Relax your head. Bend your knees 90 degrees, flex your feet, toes turned out. Take your hands to the instep. Let's do the baby pose. Oh, happy baby, kind of rock back and forth. You're actively applying pressure on the middle of your foot there to press your knees towards the floor to increase that stretch in your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, but I mainly feel mine in my hamstrings here, which feels good. Rocking back and forth. Release that. Roll yourself on up nice and easy. Meet me in the middle here for one last big inhale. And exhale. And give me those virtual high fives, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you are having an awesome beginning of your week. If you're joining me here on Monday when this gets posted, I hope you're excited to meet me right back here tomorrow for another workout. Until we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye everyone!